Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ademola Badmos. If this is your first time, please do not forget to like and subscribe. In this video, we will talk about um, Xcode installation. <clears throat> In the previous video, we've talked about the things that we are going to do, but uh, we are not going to break them down into bits and pieces. We are going to be using a MacBook for this illustration and the reason is because a MacBook has the ability to test iOS devices. It is designed to be able to test iOS devices. So we'll be able to launch a simulator on the MacBook. So everything will be done on the MacBook. But um, as uh, we go along the line, the things that can also be done on the Windows system, I will tell you, and I've actually done some of them before in my previous videos about automation, things like installing Java and setting Java to path. I have done that process before even on the Mac system and on the Windows system. So let us get right to it. So the first thing that we want to do today is um, install Xcode. Why do we need Xcode? We need Xcode so that it can allow us to be able to create a runner workspace where we can actually work with um, uh, it, we have a runner workspace where we can launch a simulator for the particular app that we want to work with. I have already installed my own Xcode because um, I've been using the uh, my machine for things concerning work. So in order to get to the Xcode, what we need to do is we need to launch our uh, app store. And from the app store, we type Xcode and we search for it. If you can, as you can see, mine is already installed. So all I just need to do is open. So here, if you have not installed it, you will need to, you will see a get button. You click on the get and install. So after you've gotten it, then you install it. Then once, is in, what, once it is installed, you can open it. So once you open it, you would see, you would just navigate through it. Let me open. Let me just open one randomly. And um, I think it will still be on the runner because um, I was using the application before. So, yes, as it is right now. Okay. So, I can create a new Xcode project, right? I can just click on app, click next. Now put a name here and all of those things. When it comes to team, I can add this to it. So what that means is that you have to be signed in into your Xcode. So how can you get to sign in to your Xcode? I think you go through settings and you go to accounts there. This is where you can sign in. So if you're not signed in here, you will see the opportunity to sign in. So once you are signed in, you will be attached to this. Do not forget this because in later videos, we'll talk about why this is important. So we can cancel that and um, have this away. So that in a nutshell is what you need to do. You need that S code. And this summarily brings us to the end of this video because I want to keep it short. We have, so I want, I've broken it down to so many easy steps so i do not want us to have um, a very long video so we'll not be bored so this brings us to the end of the video remember to do your uh, to install your s code set it up and also sign in thank you very much for getting this far and see you in the next video do not forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video bye